Mate, how much did you uh, buy those Sonos Play 1s for in that bundle? I think it was two for 388 quid. 388 quid? Yeah, right. Well, these are like multi-room smart speakers, essentially, like Sonos, and they've got built-in too. So, what do you say we test them? They were like £49 each. I hope they're not as good, <laughs> I just wasted my money. Right, let's get them out of the box. <laughs> I hope this is going to be really, really interesting. I'm interested to check this out because Kitsound are actually a really reputable company. Now, I saw these in a home bargains store where you can just get like random little bits here and there for your house. And these were in the electronic aisle. Now, there was a few things that caught my eye and it sort of spread the word in my head. Sonos. Now, Sonos is really good because we have it in this house. I really, really enjoy it. But the problem with it is it is super, super expensive. Now, these were $49.99. And the reason why I think they are... Well, well, you can compare them to Sonos, was because it says multi-room technology down here. And then on the front, it says somewhere there. It has the dreaded A word. It has built in. So let's just get straight into this and see if we can actually compare it to Sonos and see its shortcomings, see what its sound quality is like, because the price is a lot different. So I've actually picked up two of these because they have multi-room audio. So you can hopefully say, play music in X room. And it's kind of like a Sonos system, but like for a quarter of the price. So we'll compare it to ours here, but let's just get ourselves into the box. So it has a few really awesome features on the front. As you can see, it's voice activated. We've got multi-room connectivity. We'll dive into what that means in a little while. A stain-resistant nano coating for if this thing is in a kitchen environment. It also has a USB port to charge a device and you can also connect via Bluetooth. We've got a few buttons here and I think that is like an A-word light on there. And then there's actually a nice little uh, diagram on the side here which looks like it's got a couple of subwoofers in and a passive bass driver there. So yeah, bass reflex driver and dual drivers for the bass. So this thing should kick out a little bit of base I think there's a nice little pull tab on the top there so far so good okay so guys as I'm unboxing this I'm noticing more things about it up here it says it has a Spotify connect well built into it Spotify connect logo and I use Spotify connect I'm a big Spotify user so that is also an awesome thing right um <laughs> You're having a giggle. The guy's so far so good, this is genuinely screaming quality to me. I'm really quite impressed. Right, I'll just set this plastic off to one side and then we'll take a greater look around the unit. So it has this nice soft touch fabric on the front here. We've got two microphones on the top there, assuming they are for our... On the back, we've got our power cord. We've got our USB, as promised, to charge our devices. We've also got a line in, which is cool. And a WPS button up here. We've got a flimsy little base port. The weakest quality thing I've seen so far. Up here guys, we've got our microphone mute switch, assuming this is for... And then here we have, again, a little bit of a flimsy volume rocker, but it's going to do the job. And then this lights up in here, as per the pictures suggest. Looks like here we've got an input select button, a play and a pause button, and then just a kit sound logo. And then this is really nice down the side here. We've just got a little kit sound tab there. This, uh, yeah, feels nice. Let's get this thing powered on and get it connected to Wi-Fi and see how good this thing actually is. So I've gone ahead and downloaded the app as per the instructions. It's simply called Kit Sound and it's saying it's searching for my wireless hi-fi system. Now obviously it can't find one because we haven't set this up yet. So we're going to click on Wi-Fi Setup Wizard and hopefully we can go ahead and set this thing up. You are now connected to your speaker. Follow the instructions in the app to finish the setup. Okay then guys, so it's successfully connected to my Wi-Fi network with an audible prompt telling me that it was connected. So now I've gone back to my actual house's Wi-Fi on my phone, gone back to the app and straight away, it's pushed me to do an update to the actual speaker itself. So whilst that firmware update is uh, going ahead, I want to tell you guys, I got a little bit carried away with the unboxing. Forgot to mention that there's also this really, really hefty remote control that has all of the features on the front here and more. We've got a volume up and down button, left and right seek buttons. We've got the input button, play and pause buttons, and it's proper metal, like it's not plastic. 49 pounds this, right? And then I was thinking, isn't an Echo Dot second generation 49 pounds? This has got Amazon Alexa built in. Wow. Okay, so she's all logged into my account. What's the weather? Right now in Newark on Trent, it's four degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. I wonder if it's automatically linked to my Spotify account. Alexa, play wow. 
by Post Malone from Spotify. Wow, by Post Malone from Spotify. What? It, who's, who's earning money from this? Oh nah, I got a lot of toys. Seven twenty S, bumping Fallout Boy. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. People are just gonna think this this is sponsored. There's, there's nothing bad to say about it. Okay then, so I've got the other one out the box. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is in the kitchen, we actually have two Sonos Play 3s in stereo pair. So one of them is here, and then if you guys go back a little bit, one of them is here. And placed underneath is our other left or, well, right channel, whatever you wanna say, kit sound speaker. So let's go in the app and see if we can stereo pair these things together and play some music out of them. Okay, so we've got kitchen and den as both of our speakers. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is then drag the kitchen on top of the den, and then hopefully, Right, okay, let's see if this works. I'm gonna do it with my voice. Uh, play songs by Andrew Applepie from Spotify. Shuffling songs by Andrew Applepie from Spotify. Right, Alexa only worked out of that one. But we do have stereo sound. So we've got this one being our left speaker, this one being our right speaker, and the whole room is filled with sound. Okay, so that proves that two of them work in a stereo pair, much like the Sonos do. So let's put one of them in a different room and then ask the one in the kitchen to play music on the other one in the other room. So as you can see guys, we've got left and right, we've got the kitchen and the den. I'm gonna take them out of the multi-room mode and there you go, now they're both their separate rooms, kitchen and den separately. Okay then guys, so we're gonna unplug our den speaker and let's take it upstairs. Okay then guys, so we're now in the den. I'm actually in my bedroom, but I've just called this speaker den for, well, demonstrational purposes. What we'll do is we'll see if we can use the inbuilt assistant on this to play music downstairs. So I'm going to say, uh, uh, play songs by Post Malone on Kitchen. Shuffling songs by Post Malone from Spotify on Kitchen. So there you go. Now that is playing downstairs. So guys, I've been using these kit sound speakers in the kitchen at my house for the past week, well, at my family home, to see what they are like compared to the Sonos. And I want to give you my rounded up overall thoughts of what I think of the system. So whilst I'm doing this, please bear in mind that this is a very expensive system to buy into Sonos. As soon as you bought into Sonos, well, you're gonna buy more of them. And one of these sets you back about 250 pounds. So let's run over the ways in which this is better. Well, number one, it's much cheaper. Number two, you have the ability to, well, charge a phone on the back of them. They also have a line in and Bluetooth, whereas this Sonos unit doesn't. So there's many more ways you can actually get your music to this, like Bluetooth, Tooth and that line in on the back. The sound quality, well, you have to really give that one to Sonos. They really do nail it. If you're wanting a high-end audio quality speaker, then Sonos is the one. 200 pounds better though? That's really arguable. Don't get me wrong, I've had Sonos for the past five years of my life and absolutely loved every second of owning it, but I think when you've got people like Kitsound bringing out speakers like this, yes, the app on the Kitsound isn't as good on the Sonos, that's definitely another point for the Sonos. They still do the same thing though. You've got multi-room audio, you've got Alexa control to control music. Let's say if you're in the den, you can play music in the kitchen and vice versa. One thing you can't do on either of these is group speakers with your voice. You have to use the Sonos and or the Kit Sound app. But I'm gonna let you guys make your own mind up. I've been using these for the past week, no issues whatsoever. 100 pounds, 300 pounds. We'll leave links to it all in the description. Hope you've enjoyed. Peace.